Hi, dear people of God, I greet you all in the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May God's name be glorified. Today is February 16th day. Praise be to God. So far, God has guided us. Even today and the days which are going to come, God is going to guide you. Don't worry about your future. He will give you the bread for every day and the grace for every day, my beloved people of God. Those who believe God, God has never forsaken them. Okay, so far God has guided us. In 1981, April 14th, I took this Bible in my hand and God helped me to take this Bible in my hand. And so far God has guided me. Even to you, God is sufficient for you. Be bold in the Lord. You know what is the word for the day? Yesterday, we saw from Zechariah 12 verses 10. I'm going to take you to another angle of this verse and God wants to speak to you. Zechariah 12 verses 10. And I will pour on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. Yesterday I was inspired to speak about the spirit of grace and today I'm going to speak about the spirit of supplication. Children of God, when you are filled with the spirit of the God in a spiritual Life, God will give you so much of blessings. And He will bless you also worldly. There is no blessing equivalent to the Spirit of God. If you are standing today with grace, I tell you that's only because of the anointing. In the name of Jesus, I want to tell you that the Spirit of supplication the spirit of supplication. Generally, in Christianity, all of us pray. Even David also said that in 65 verses 2, that he is a prayer answering God. If you take children, how they pray, bless my studies, bless my mother, father. The next level when they grow up, when they become young people, they say, Lord bless my college studies, bless my future, in the name of Jesus I pray. That's what they say. And when they get married, they say, they pray for their problems, uh, for their marital life. And sick people pray a general prayer for healing. But a spirit of supplication means, unknowingly, you pray to God. You'll be praying for one thing, again you'll be praying for another thing. Immediately God will put a supplication into your heart. Sometimes God will put some ministers of God into your heart to pray for them. You will be praying for some states, for countries. He will inspire you to pray. He will interfere and ask you to pray. When you pray, children of God, I tell you, the spirit of supplication will give you tears in your heart. He will give you compassion, burden into your heart. You will be shedding tears. You will take a long breath and pray. I tell you that grace is there only for the anointing. That's what it said in Romans 8 verses 26. So you need to ask the Lord, give me that supplication spirit to pray. Let's lift up our hands and just pray. A loving heavenly father, let your children receive the spirit of supplication in the name of Jesus. Let them be given more prayer points and pray prophetically, Lord. Let them pray for the perishing souls, for the churches, for the cities, Lord. Lord, for the people who are destined for death, for suicide, let them be delivered through their spirit of supplication, Lord. I pray for them. I commit everyone into their mighty hand. Lord, I am just doing my duty, Lord. Let the spirit of supplication be filled to your children right now. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Unchanging hand be with your children. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. God has filled you with a divine presence. You can take some more time, 10 or 15 minutes to pray. And after praying, don't forget to share to more people. We are building the kingdom of God together. I tell you, God bless you. Our address, Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalayam Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836 7299546363 
இமெயில் ஐடி ஜிபிஎஸ் ராபின்சன் அட் ஹாட்மெயில் டாட் காம் ஜிபிஎஸ் டாட் ஆஃபீஸ் அட் ஜீசஸ் மீட்ஸ் டாட் ஓஆர்ஜி வெப்சைட் அட்ரஸ் டபிள்யூ 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 டாட் ஜிபிஎஸ் ராபின்சன் டாட் ஓஆர்